I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week 10 in the NFL and right now we are going to take a look at the Monday night football game, the Chiefs at the Steelers. And as always, we're going to get two expert opinions uh, to weigh in on this game. Right now we're going to be talking with Jeff Grant from the Bleacher Report and Dave Golikoff, sports columnist from AskMen.com. Thanks guys for being here and uh, let's start with you, uh, Jeff Grant. The, uh, the Chiefs are a 12-point underdog and the total is 42 and a half. And I asked you to take this game because I was very, very impressed with with your uh, pick on the Chargers first half over the Chiefs last week. So you seem like you have a pretty good read on exactly how bad these Chiefs are. Uh, I'm wondering, though, what you think of them as getting 12 points here on a Monday night game. What makes the Chiefs uh, an awful bet this year has been turning over the football. Uh, it's a consistent theme, but you got to consistently uh, continue to bring it up and doing these videos. This isn't the first time that uh, you and I have talked about the Kansas City Chiefs. 29 turnovers this year. Uh, an incredible amount of turnovers through this many games of the season. But to cover this type of spread, are the Steelers going to be able to have one of the better defenses? I think they're number one uh, in the NFL now over the last few weeks. They've really batted down the hatches on opponents. Uh, they suffocated the Giants. Giants weren't in a very good situation with Hurricane Sandy and that whole ordeal. Uh, so they weren't in the best offensive situation. But the Steelers have only... Uh, compiled eight takeaways this year. That means they've forced eight turnovers. Uh, that has been something that I've kind of looked carefully, carefully at the entire year because people were mentioning that, yeah, the Steelers have a good defense, but they're not uh, getting the opponents to turn the ball over. And a lot of that has to do with Troy Polamalu uh, being out of the fold on the defensive end. He's kind of the playmaker. They have some good defensive players. But he's the one that creates the havoc on, on the offensive end. Uh, with that being said, I can't go against the Steelers, Peter, because there's a significant stat here. They've won 14 consecutive Monday night football games at home, including six at Heinz Field. Uh, I'm not about to go against that. So I'm looking at the total, and I'm going to bring in Jimmy Vaccaro. I get his quotes mm -hmm. each and every week for the games that I cover on videos and write for the Bleacher Report. He expects a resounding win by the Steelers, which I kind of agree, but not exactly covering the spread. But he's given out a score of 37-10 Pittsburgh, and that kind of goes with my thinking of going over the total here. Yeah, and I have to think this is also going to be a huge public uh, teaser play. Anyone who's taken 10-point teasers uh, week after week is definitely going to put this one in, uh, in any teaser they have, wouldn't you say? Uh, definitely, and, and I think you should play uh, – that potentially with the Steelers in the over if you're looking to go in that direction. I yeah. mean, uh, that's the only way that I could really uh, assume people to play it. Uh, Vegas really knows it. Obviously, with an inflated line, we've yet to see a double-digit spread with the Steelers uh, team this year. So it's a little dangerous to play them with the full spread. Uh, there's a few other dynamics to this game that need to be talked about, and that's the fact that offensive coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Todd Haley, was fired by the Kansas City Chiefs last year. Mm. Romeo Cornell, <laughs> the guy that won the job because they upset, uh, upset the Green Bay Packers last year, has just given away his defensive coordinator responsibilities. He's doing one of those things that has been popular in the league, having a head coach and also running a coordinator, either offensive or defensive. So I expect the Chiefs to not be as good on the defensive end, even though they haven't been very good, but they've been tested because the offense have put them in bad situations. While Todd Haley, uh, he really has this offense clicking. That's another reason why I like the over. Okay, Jeff Grant has a lean to the over. Now let's go to uh, Dave Golikoff from AskMen.com. Dave, I know you. you uh, this is one of the games you picked in your weekly article. You think that there's an edge here. Yeah, I like the Kansas City Chiefs in this spot. Not a huge play, but if I had to pick anything in this game, I would take the Chiefs. They are 13-4 and four against the spread in their last 17 as an underdog of 10 points or more. And believe it or not, I think this there's there's enough reason to actually believe that they covered the spread here. Uh, I know they're complete garbage. They seem to shoot themselves in the foot more than any other team in the NFL. 29 turnovers uh, leaves the league. Obviously not very good. Their offense is not built to come from behind either. They can't seem to protect Matt Castleback. I mean, <laughs> Matt Castleback <laughs> can't seem to protect Matt Castle. Uh, or Brady Quinn or whatever scrub is throwing passes for them. But this week they face a Steelers defense that is, you know, it, it's not the defense that we're used to knowing and loving over the previous years. 
Um, they've got 14 sacks in eight games, which is very low for them. They've had a really tough time turning over the ball. I think just eight, eight takeaways for the Steelers which is very surprising, or just eight takeaways for them this season. So if the Chiefs can avoid the turnovers and protect Castle a little bit better, um, then I think you're, you're going to see the Chiefs cover the spread. Also, don't forget that uh, the Steelers are kind of coming off um, a stretch where they dug themselves out of the hole. The last kind of month of the, of the year for them was very important to get a winning streak, to get out of the early hole that they dug themselves, get back in the race for the AFC North, and next week they face the Baltimore Ravens, so they may be looking ahead to that game a little bit, uh, coming off a big win against the Giants. This is sort of the sandwich uh, situation where they just might not play with the same intensity that we've seen over the last month uh, because of who they played last week and who they play next week. So I like the Chiefs with the points. Okay, some mixed opinions weighing in on this one. Interesting input, guys. Thanks.